Hey guys, it's makeup basket time. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to start off with my nail polish. I have had these for a very long time. This is a color show from Maybelline and Sapphire Siren. Look at this gorgeous blue. I mean, does it get much better than that? Does it get much better than that? And then I have this Deborah Lipman polish in Cleopatra in New York. And I actually got this in like a Sephora favorites set. And it, I don't know, I can't really tell. I think the base might be clear. Yeah. And I don't know, actually, it looks like the base is kind of like a watered down black and it has these gold um, shimmers. And you can see there's actually a lot of them. It's just I need to go ahead and shake that up. So I think that'll be an interesting little kind of mix right there. So, and also these were like my Valentine's nails last week and they are super janky so just ignore them okay i'm going to go ahead and use my maybelline sable concealer this is one of my all-time favorite concealers of life it is amazing um oh i also grabbed these from my vanity um these are kind of products that i've been using and I just wanted to show you guys, I'm still using my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base as a primer. And look at that. I hit pan or I hit glass. <laughs> so I'm actually doing really well with this. And I'm actually really liking it now that I've been using it and really paying attention to it. My Maybelline BB Fresh, I thought I had like two more uses. It's been lasting me like a week and a half. So I'm just going to put it in my makeup basket and keep using it. Um, because I need to. And I'm almost done with this Dream Lumi. I want to say this is... I was going to say L'Oreal, but this is actually Maybelline. And look at that. Almost done. And then this is Juice Beauty. It's a hydrating mist. I'll kind of put this on right after I'm done putting my face on. <laughs> Once I'm putting my face on. Um, but then um, before I put on my mascara. And if I forget and I put on my mascara first, then I have to wait till I know it's completely dry. But I really like it because it helps make sure I don't have like that powdery thing going on. Um, so I have all of that. I have concealer. I'm just going to stick with this because something tells me this will probably last me the whole week. My gosh. And then, um, what kind of setting powder? Uh, let me actually grab the setting powder I've been using. The one I used last week is, I just like knocked into my lighting, guys. Um, hurt my head. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie and I am almost done. I'm like so excited. So I'm really trying to finish these and I figure if I don't put any other products, like any other finishing powders or any other concealers, I'll actually be able to get through some of these. So really excited about that. Um, so that's what I'll do there. I think I'll use this bronzer and blush from Laura Geller. This is the Blush and Glow Tropic Hues. And it's just, and it actually has like a little mirror. It uh, has a really pretty blush and bronzer. And these are baked. And this actually has some like gold peach uh, veining in there. Really pretty. And this bronzer does have a little bit of a sheen. But uh, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that, guys. You know how I am. More glitter, the better. <laughs> okay, now going over to my blush. Let me move you guys over a little bit. What should I do? Oh, I haven't used this little cargo guy. Uh, this is in Bali. I love this blush. This is my only cargo blush, and it's super stunning, to be honest. I'm um, trying to just grab some things that I haven't used in a while. But I feel like I've been trying to use... I've been trying to use my products, you know? Um, I will use this... This is the BH Cosmetic Lilac Blush Duo. One of my girlfriends, Andrea, gave it to me uh, last year for Valentine's Day. It has like a blush and a nice highlight there. Really pretty. It's very subtle. Um, it's not as pigmented as I would like, but you don't need to look like a, like a clown every day, right? <laughs> Honestly. And then this is Luminoso from Milani. Oh, beautiful. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with these. I've kind of been like ODing on picking blushes and then I'm not really using them all. So... I would rather just pick like three and know I'm using them. Um, so I think that is it for face. Oh, I didn't even pick eye stuff. Okay, I didn't pick a palette. But you know what? I'm going to use my comfort zone. Um, I just pulled this for a different 
video I'm doing a collab and oh like this color is gorgeous right here. This is the Comfort Zone from Wet n Wild. It's an eight pan palette, just super stunning. I think I'm gonna grab that because my um my Wet n Wild stuff doesn't get too much love. And I have like all of these guys. I think I'm gonna hold off because I just realized I really haven't been using any of my L'Oreal Infallible pigments. I really don't use much of these guys. So uh, looking at those colors, I think I'm going to grab Caramel Cool from my Maybelline Color Tattoo. And I feel, I have like an asphalt one, don't I? Where is it? I wonder where it is. And yep, it is in my makeup basket that I never put away. So this is Audacious Asphalt. So I'm gonna use this because I think underneath maybe like that color I just showed you, that one that looks super stunning and super duochrome, that might be interesting. So I'm gonna use these two guys and then I really wanted to grab um, some pretties over here. I can use that one. <gasps> Oh my gosh. And, I'll, and look at this. Now I'm like super obsessed remembering how stunning these are. You guys know I always want purple. Oh, I forgot I have like this orange one. Oh god. I think I'm going to move some of these back. Oh, guys, these are just beyond. Oh, sorry. I know that was super loud. I'm not trying to make you guys go deaf. I'm going to leave off the purple right now. Um, okay, so I have these two that look super similar. So this is Blinged and Brilliant, and this is Bronze Taupe. Oh, Bronze Taupe is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to use... Actually, I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to use both of these and see because they do look very similar. I think you guys can see a little better there. They do look similar. This one is slightly darker. Um and see how they apply on my eye. And then if I get the uh, same look, a very similar look, then I'll get rid of one of them. So I'll do that. I'll put this here. And I'm pulling out this. This is in Gilded Envy. Oh, God. I can't even, guys. This some, some of this makeup is just so pretty. I know. I swear I just did a purge, and it already looks like I didn't. Um, I feel like this might be drying out my Physician's Formula Liner. I'm going to pull this. I'm also going to pull my Urban Decay Black Velvet. So those are the black ones I'll be using. And let me see. I really like purple liner no matter what I have on. You guys know this. And I feel like I have my purple liner in my makeup basket from last week. I think purple and green look really pretty. So I think I will grab this guy. And this guy. Okay, so I have this Stila liner in Lionfish, and this is uh, the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, so I don't think I've ever really noticed if this was waterproof or not, so I'll try and pay attention to that. And then my Avon Big Color Eye Pencil in something, in Eggplant, <laughs> and this was a gift from one of my girlfriends, and I really do like this. This is just like, ugh. I mean, you guys know how I am about purple anything all day. All day, all night purple. Oh, you know what? There aren't really any matte colors there in that Wet n Wild palette. So I think I'm actually going to grab my Vanity palette. Um, another one that's very similar, the Sonia Kasha palette. Um, I actually mentioned both of these in my Wednesday tutorial that I did using the Stila Soul. Uh, I think a lot of people found that helpful that I did a look using this palette but said, hey, you can use these similar palettes. So that's something I might try and do moving forward um, because if you don't have a specific palette, it doesn't mean you can't get the same look. You know, you don't need to go spending a million dollars <laughs> trying to get every little palette. So I think I'll also grab, whoops, these two mascaras, Urban Decay Perversion and Benefit They're Real. This was my 2014 favorite. This is my 2000 or my 2013 favorite mascara and my 2014 favorite mascara. Um, I just absolutely love it. And after using this, I realized that They're Real really separates and lengthens my lashes, but I'm really into like a full look. So I think together this might be holy grail status. So I'll just keep using the samples because I'm not going to buy two $20 mascaras. It ain't happening. Okay, lips. <sighs> it's always something, guys. It's always something. 
Okay, this is another brick in the wall. This is an MBA My Beauty Addiction um, lip lipstick, and uh, they you can buy these like samples online, which I really love because I never go through anything. And I actually posted a look on my Instagram using this this past week, so definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting a lot of looks with my beauty addiction products. Um, uh, you know, kind of working with them, testing out products and reviewing them and posting pictures and things like that. And I really, really like them and believe in that company. They're amazing people and the products are just freaking awesome. So this is another brick in the wall. Oh, let me just show you this again. This is just like a reddish brown. I'm just all over it. You guys know, ain't nobody got time to be bashful. <laughs> and I just always wanna keep using all three of these, to be honest. I have so many lipsticks left over from the past few weeks that I have not used. Um, actually, I realized how many nude lipsticks I have and I am just not using them because I have so many. So I'm gonna go to the bottom of the barrel and try to use some of these guys. What's down, oh my gosh, I forgot about Fiend. See what happens when you have so much. And yep, that is something in the package. It is. I'm not even going to try and lie to you guys. Okay. So this is Bavarian Cream. Oh gosh. Oh, I love it. I like this. This is definitely more pink. So I'll pick this guy out. This is Mark. I got this in a boxy charm, I want to say. Um, I normally don't swatch these guys, but really pretty. Of course, I'm hoping one of these will jump out and I'll be like, ugh, gross. This is number 17 from Rimmel. Um, I feel like I'm not going to love this color. I feel like this is more of like a summer color for me. Um, but I'm going to grab it anyway. I'm just going to do nudes this week. I'm going to get crazy. This is Pink Chic, which I love. Also another more summer. I'm not going to choose this one because I feel like I'm too pale for that. And this actually should go in the pink. And then this is Ravish, which I love. So one, two, three, four. Pretty, right guys? So pretty. And I think I'm gonna grab Frida. This is from ColourPop. It's a li lippy stick. I was gonna say licky stick. And look at that, that's so creamy. I love it. I love this. This was actually curated from Coffee Break with Danny. She worked with um, ColourPop and she actually recently gave me a shout out on her channel for like her Saturday Panda standout or something like that. And I was really honored because I love her channel. I think she's really sweet. Um, and I feel like I should grab at least one red. <laughs> so should I do this one? That's like a reddish pink. I really want to use this guy. Oh, oh, look, do you see how that just happened? Like the brush is all gross and janky. Ooh, but look how pretty. Yep, I'm gonna grab it. Oh, it smells kind of nice. Um, I don't know what it smells like. Oh, I didn't check this. This is Fiend from Urban Decay. Oh, that's actually... It doesn't, okay, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but this kind of looks like a mix of Frida and Bavarian cream and like whatever color this is, like all mixed in one. Hmm. But I'm going to, I'm going to use it. So those are all the colors I'm using. I know, super random, right? Like, but, or rather not random because they're so similar, but still, um, I think it'll be nice. Some are cooler, some are a little bit warmer. So I think it'll work out. So I think that's it. Gosh, why am I always so surprised when my makeup baskets are done? But that's it. That's my makeup basket and my nail polishes for the week. Let me know what you guys have been loving and hating. What kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, I'm here for you guys. And I really would like to do different things. I've gotten a lot of requests for more planner related tutorials and reviews and things like that. So I'm kind of working on a series. I'm just doing research. And I really want better quality videos and close-ups and lighting and stuff like that. So I hope you guys really enjoy. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. See you next time. Bye, guys.